magnificent forests are the gift of nature. One cannot even imagine the magnitude of threat that can be posed by the tiny creatures known as termites. Their ecological niche is hidden, but the impact is obviously observed in the form of devastation of these huge forest trees. Can you ever imagine that the termites on earth outweigh the humans on earth? Termites have been around for over 250 million years. Social insects are the superorganisms. Why they are called superorganisms? The organization of different castes in a colony of a superorganism is fascinating. How they live together, how they do different jobs is fascinating. Well, termites are one of the oldest insects and they are so organized socially and they perfected their living in a colony in such a way that the so-called socially evolved human beings are far lagging behind than these termites. Termites are labeled as number one public enemy and are known as white ants, but they are seldom destructive in civilized communities and are definitely constructive in nature. Termites are insects that feed exclusively on plant material. They occur in vast number in tropical regions where they are probably the most important animals contributing to decomposition processes. If there were no termites, the tropical forests would have perished within few years. All termites belong to the order Isoptera and all Isopterans are termites. They're often called white ants because majority of them are white and small and they live in large colonies like ants. But sometimes white ants tag is very misleading because they have thick waists, generally soft bodied, unlike ants who have thin waists and hard bodies. These ants are the natural enemies of termite colony. The ants search every tunnel and chamber, devouring the king and queen termites as well as many thousands of workers. An ant raid can wipe out an entire termite colony. Termites are social insects but less advanced than ant colonies. Termite colonies are just large families. Each colony consists of three basic castes. Soldiers normally equipped with powerful jaws and sometimes with repellent capabilities to defend the colony. Soldiers are structurally specialized defenders of the nest. Their role is to protect the colony for predators, mostly ants. They have large sclerotized head with brown coloration. They have large modified mandibles. Reproductives which form the annual mating flight. The mating flight of the winged aelates is called swarming. Huge cloud of the insects gather around light sources where they are to meet their future mates. The reproductive class is represented by primary reproductives which have two pairs of wings. The aelates land, break their own wings off along a basal suture and form courtship pairs. They then go for a brief courtship run, excavate the soil and mate. The courtship pair is named queen and king. The queen abdomen becomes large with time, extremely so that she is referred to as being physogastric. 
the queen may have an abdomen of 9 cm long. Enlargement of abdomen due to increase in abdominal organs, especially ovaries. One can evidently observe a great difference in the size of the king and queen. The function of the king is to mate and inseminate the female with sperm. The queen can lay an egg every 3 seconds or 30,000 a day. And she may lay millions of eggs during her lifespan of 25 to 30 years. The tiny termite egg is almost transparent. During the incubation period, the egg is groomed and tended by workers. Eggs hatch into tiny immatures incapable of feeding called nymphs. Nymphs are totipotent which means that they are genetically capable of developing into any caste. Time of year, diet and pheromones all play a role in determining which developmental pathway a termite follows. Supplementary reproductives are wingless but otherwise look like primary reproductives. They generally take up the reproductive function if somehow nest has lost primary reproductives. There is uh, various theories about the caste determination in social insects. A most appealing one is the genetic, genetic theory. In that when the eggs are laid, they are transported to the incubation chambers. Then the nymphs are emerged or hatched from the egg. At that time, the genetic, due to the genetic uh, variability and the requirement of the colony, which is not genetically proved, but it also, there is an element of requirement of colony. If all the eggs become the soldiers, and if all the eggs become the workers, then the social, whole social organ, organization will be disturbed. So there is a selective genetic process which produces the rational number of the workers, soldiers and reproductives in a particular column. But when they are, when these are formed, then there is a pheromonal control over all over the colonies. It may be the workers, it may be the soldiers and others. Queen control all these. So there is no intrusion of any worker or any soldier of other colony to the uh, mother colony. The workers and soldiers of one colony cannot go or one nest cannot go to another. Workers are pale yellow in color with abdomen partly brown in color. Workers are sterile and their functions include building and maintenance of nests, foraging, caring for the eggs and nurturing of young ones as well as queen, maintain colony atmospheric homeostasis. In some species, their job description also includes fungus gardening. It is these workers that have the chewing mouthparts and cause all the damage to wooden structures. Often they are found still eating on the wood. Workers constantly forage in search of food as all other termites of the colony are dependent on them for food. Worker termites enter a home through tiny cracks in the foundation through utility entry points. Termites are among the most successful of insect species in tropical grasslands. Some, like the fungus growing termites, build moons six meters high with elaborate networks of tunnels in and around them. The success story of uh, social insects lies within their colony. They are so well organized 
and so laborious in their and so honest in their work that the a caste responsible for doing a particular job will honestly and laboriously do the job. Fungal comb is part of a fungus garden grown by the subterranean termite Odontotermus ovisus. These fungus belong to the termitomyces group and are edible. Royal jelly is prepared by this fungus comb. Royal chamber is situated at the ground level. The soil of royal chamber is tough than the rest of the moon and is surrounded by fungus garden. This is a side view of the royal chamber. There is a cut in the middle for ventilation as well as for transporting eggs from the royal chamber to the incubation chamber. Now look at the front view of the royal chamber. It is empty. Light is coming inside through cut in the middle from the ventilation side. Right now we are seeing the queen of Odontotermus ovisus inside royal chamber. It is fed royal jelly by the worker and eggs are laid by the queen inside the royal chamber. Testing of wood for termite resistance is very important to assess the quality of wood. This testing can be done by two ways, graveyard testing and accelerated lab testing. Graveyard testing takes three to five years or more. It is replaced by accelerated lab testing where results can be achieved within three months. Wood pieces are oven dried, weighed, and then exposed to known number of termites for a given period of time. Then they are washed, oven dried and weighed again. The weight loss is calculated. Now we can see timber pieces of different classes according to weight loss. Class 1, 0 to 6 percent weight loss, very resistant. Class 2, 7 to 16 percent resistant class 3 17 to 30 percent moderately resistant class 4 31 to 50 percent poorly resistant class 5 more than 50 percent perishable in class 1 there is negligible weight loss between unexposed an exposed piece. In class 2, you can see that degree of termite attack is more. In classes 3 and 4, there is gradual increase in termite attack. So timber of class 1 and class 2 are recommended for construction without any treatment. These are naturally resistant timber against termites. It is interesting to note that termites are among those insects that nature uses to clear away stumps and fallen timber. Termites are very beneficial to the earth since they are voracious consumers of wood and some of these are highly destructive pests of wooden buildings and furniture and plantation trees. However, most termite species are innocent inhabitants of tropical forests and have a positive effect on soil fertility. These social insects have a message to us. Be organized, be honest to your profession, be royal to the royal pair or your employer or your master and do your work faithfully.